This is a true story. The only names I haven't changed are those of the three feds who were proud of busting the biggest pot ring of the Reagan era, and of my father, who's proud of being a part of it. My name is Tony DeCopel, and in the late 1970s, my father decided to start a family. At the same time, he was smuggling 10 and 20,000 pounds of marijuana to New York City wholesalers, who moved it to vacation spots and college towns up and down the East Coast. If you smoked Colombian weed in the 1970s and 80s, I owe you a thank you card. You paid for my swim lessons, bought me my first baseball glove, and kept me in the best private schools in South Florida, at least for a little while. Eventually, the old man broke the cardinal rule of dealing. He became an addict himself. When I was six, I watched him go. This is a personal story, but it's also the story of us all, of the many children of the Great Stoned Age, the greatest explosion of illicit drug use ever recorded. Everybody knew a dealer in the 1970s and the 80s. My father was one of those dealers, the last pirate.